was that? Can't hear you. You can't hear me? Better turn it down a bit. And of course, that's a volume control. All our radios, cassette players and television sets have volume controls. We tend to take them for granted. But who invented the first volume control and what did it have to do with an old sock? Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, the story starts with Thomas Edison, the famous American inventor who, in, who patented more than a thousand inventions. I guess the most famous invention of his was the electric light bulb. We still use them today. Here he is in his laboratory testing that first light bulb. But it wasn't his favourite invention. Edison said, my favourite invention, without a doubt, would have to be the phonograph. What's a phonograph? Well, it's a machine for recording and playing back sound. And the first phonograph records were scratchy line on a piece of tin foil. Then came the wax cylinder. Here's one of Edison's wax cylinder records. Encoded in that wavy line that goes around there is a piece of music. And when that turns underneath a needle, is reproduced. Then came the disc, the flat disc record. Here's one of Edison's flat disc records. This one has Rosemarie sung by the tenor Walter Scanlon. Should we listen to it? Okay, I have here a beautiful mahogany Edison disc phonograph machine which I've borrowed from my friend Tom. So I put the record on the turntable and then switch on the clockwork motor. The record goes around. Now I bring the needle across and lower it down. And we have music. The problem was, if you had this in your lounge room, there was no volume control in the early machines, so you had to shout to make yourself heard. Then came this model, and in this, Edison put a sliding lever. Watch and listen what happens when I push that sliding lever. Now, you'll notice that the volume went down, so it must have a volume control inside. Shall we have a look? I'll take the front off, and you'll now see why we were able to control the volume. There's a soft gadget in here, a sphere made of cloth. And as I bring that lever back now, you can see that the sock comes out of the metal cone, allowing the sound to come out full volume. When I push it back into the cone, it partially blocks off the sound wave. So we have there a volume control. Now the problem was, those pieces of cloth wore out. What do you think people did in the early days? That's right, they scrounged around the house until they found an old sock. I never have any trouble with that because my washing machine seems to chew up socks one at a time. So I would take one of my old socks, stuff it with bits of cloth, and then all I needed to do, if I had one of these in the olden days, would be to tie that end of the sock onto the wire so that now it could work as the volume control. And of course, that's probably where the saying came, if you want somebody to keep quiet, tell them to put a sock in it.